Do you have a lot of these? But not a lot of these? Then you need one of these. Meet the Enchanter, a specialised worker for your colony who can fulfil all of your enchantment and magical needs. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of this worker, explaining everything that you'll ever need to know about the Mine Colony's Enchanter. The Enchanter is a special worker for your colony, who can create enchanted books from ancient tomes, which you can then use to enchant your weapons, tools and armours. They do this by gathering experience from workers around your colony, and then using the experience to transform ancient tomes to enchanted books. They can also create different magical scrolls for you to use, which can help in the day-to-day -day running of your colony. The Enchanter's Tower can be created by using an enchanting table, alongside wooden planks of any type, and a building tool. Once constructed, an Enchanter will be assigned to the building if it is set to automatic hiring. The Enchanter will request that you configure some workers for them to drain experience from before they can begin working. You can do this by going into the Gather Targets option within the Enchanter's Tower interface and then selecting some workers as targets. You must select at least one worker for them to gather experience from, but they will be able to gather more experience faster if you select multiple workers. Once a target has been set, then the Enchanter will request a book. They will head to their target and consume the book after gathering the experience from the worker. Each time the Enchanter returns to their tower after collecting their experience, they will require another book in order for them to collect more. When the Enchanter has collected enough experience from their targets, they will request an ancient tome for them to put their experience into so they can create an enchanted book. Ancient tomes can only be obtained as a drop from raiders raiding your colony or by spawning them in creatively. You cannot craft them. Once supplied with an ancient tome, then the enchanter will start transforming it into an enchanted book. The enchanted book they create will depend on the level of their enchanter's tower and own knowledge skill level. A lower tier tower will result in Enchanter creating lower tiered Enchanted books. A higher tiered tower will result in them creating higher tiered and rarer Enchanted books. So it is best to upgrade the Enchanter's tower whenever you can to ensure that you are always getting the most out of the Ancient Tomes that you supply them with. It should be noted that the Enchanter cannot enchant any weapon, tool or armour with the books that they create this must still be done by yourself. Your enchanter can make some basic magical scrolls for you to use around your colony, depending on the tier of their tower. A research within the technology tree of the university, called More Scrolls, can be unlocked, which will grant your enchanter the ability to make even more magical scrolls. This research requires an enchanter's tower totaling at least three levels, as well as a stack of paper, a stack of lapis lazuli, and an ancient tome. Once unlocked, the enchanter can then make different scrolls for you to use, but you must still supply them with the items they require to create the scrolls. The items required will depend on the scroll that you wish them to make, but you should have lapis lazuli, ender pearls, compasses, builder tools, glowstone dust, and paper ready for them, if you wish any scroll to be crafted. There are quite a few different parts to the Enchanter, which all play a significant role in how the building operates overall. So for this section, I will take each part in turn to fully explain their functions in more detail. We will start off with the experience that the Enchanter collects from workers. The Enchanter now works a bit differently as to how they used to in older versions of the Mine Colonies mod, with some older terminology still being used in more recent versions, which can be a bit confusing. When an Enchanter first starts working, they will request that you configure some workers for them to drain experience from. In previous versions, 
The enchanter used the drain experience directly from workers that they were set to target. But with more recent versions, they no longer take anything away from the worker that they've been set to target. Instead, once they have been set a target, they will head to that worker and observe them working, and gain experience by simply doing that. So although terms like drain and target are still used, nothing bad actually happens to your workers, so feel free to select multiple targets for the enchanter to go and collect experience from. As a side note, during my tests with the enchanter, I've noticed that you don't actually need a worker to be assigned to a building for them to collect experience from. You can create a building with no worker assigned and select it as a target for your enchanter who will still go to the building and gather experience from it even if no one is working within it. This most likely is not intended and may be patched out in a future update but still something that you can do in versions 1.16 of the Mine Colonies mod, at least at the time of recording this video. Enchanters collect experience from workers once per day, working alongside the day-night cycle of the world. Once they have harvested experience from a worker, they will return back to their tower to request a new book, and then move on to their next target. Until they run out of targets to collect from, or until it becomes night and they head home for the day. I've noticed that you can turn the target option off and back on again for an already harvested worker, which allows the enchanter to head straight back to them to collect some more experience by passing the day-night cycle. Again, this most likely is not intended, but can still be an easy way to gain some more experience quickly. Your enchanter will consume their books once they have finished harvesting experience from a worker and they will need to be resupplied with a new one in order for them to continue collecting more. Once they have gathered enough experience from all of their targets, they will return back and remain by their tower's hut and not collect any more experience until they can use the current amount that they have stored. They will do this by using the stored experience to create an enchanted book from an ancient tome. Ancient tomes can only be obtained from raiders during a raid on your colony and are a fairly rare drop from them. I conducted a test to check the drop rate of ancient tomes by killing 100 pirate raiders during a raid and only had 7 tomes in total dropped out of the 100 kills. So don't expect too many tomes during a raid, unless you've been blessed by Aaron Jesus, of course. Ancient tomes are mainly used to be consumed and transformed into enchanted books by the enchanter, but they can also be used to warn you as to when a raid is about to happen. The tome will normally glow blue whenever it's in your inventory, however, whenever a raid is about to happen, the book will start to glow purple to warn you. So it may be handy to keep an ancient tome spare in your inventory to keep an eye out on upcoming raids for a chance to obtain even more tomes. The types of enchanted books your enchanters can transform ancient tomes into will depend on the tier of the enchanter's tower as well as their knowledge skill level. The type of enchanted books created are based upon vanilla enchants and at lower hut tiers you can expect lower versions of those enchants with higher tiers resulting in higher and rarer ones. I gave free enchanters with similar knowledge skill levels but of different enchanter tower tiers some ancient tomes and allowed them to turn those tomes into different enchanted books for me. Here are a list of enchantments that they came up with alongside the tier of their enchanters tower which you can clearly see some better enchants coming in from the higher leveled enchanters. And yes, I have no idea what Aqua Affinity 4 is either. In addition to all of the vanilla enchantments, the Mine Colonies mod also has a new specific enchant called Raider's Bane. Raider's Bane comes in two different versions, Raider's Bane 1 and Raider's Bane 2, 
and as an enchantment that is applied to swords and axes to increase their damage against raiders. Raider's Bane 1 can be obtained from the enchanter whenever their tower reaches tier 3, and Raider's Bane 2 can be obtained from the enchanter whenever their tower reaches tier 5. But both versions can also be obtained from vanilla Minecraft librarians. Regardless of the enchanted books they create, enchanters cannot apply any of their enchantments to any weapons, tools or armors. This must still be done by yourself. In addition to creating enchanted books, the enchanter can also create magic scrolls. There are five magic scrolls in total, but only four of them are craftable by the enchanter. The four craftable scrolls are the Ultra Safe Colony Teleport Scroll, the Ultra Safe Colony Group Teleport Scroll, the Spatial Guard Reinforcement Scroll, and the Worker Where Are You Scroll. The fifth scroll available is the Sacred Scroll of Regeneration, which can only be found in loot chests around the world. The Ultra Safe Colony Teleport Scroll is the template scroll for all of the other craftable scrolls and can be crafted from a tier 1 enchanter's tower. It can be crafted by the enchanter using free paper, a compass and a building tool which results in free scrolls being created. This scroll teleports you to the colony's town hall whenever used, however it must first be registered to the town hall by shift and right clicking on the town hall block. The ultra safe colony group teleport scroll teleports you and other players near you to the registered town hall whenever used. It can be crafted by the enchanter by using free ultra safe colony teleport scrolls and results in one scroll being created. The enchanter's tower must be at least tier 2 for the enchanter to create these scrolls. The spatial guard reinforcement scroll is similar to a rallying banner where it allows you to call guards to your side for a limited time. Only one guard from a guard or barracks tower can be summoned at a time with the scroll requiring to be registered to the tower first. The scroll can be crafted by the enchanter using one ultra safe colony teleport scroll, five lapis lazuli, one ender pearl and one paper. This generates two scrolls to use, but the more scrolls research in the university must first be unlocked in order to craft it. The worker Where Are You scroll highlights the worker of a specific building and also gives them a slight speed boost. It must be shift and right clicked on a worker's hunt to highlight the worker within it. The scroll can be crafted by the enchanter using one ultra safe colony teleport scroll, six glowstone dust and two paper. This generates five scrolls to use but requires the more scrolls research in order to craft them. The sacred scroll of regeneration can only be looted from loot chests around the world but whenever used it grants a regeneration effect to you and any nearby citizens. All scrolls are used by holding right click with the scroll in your main hand and any scroll requiring to be registered first can be done by shift and right clicking on the building block. All scrolls have a small chance of failing whenever used which results in a small message appearing saying 404 spell not found and a glowing effect placed upon yourself. All scrolls whether they succeed or not will be consumed after using. The enchanter uses the mana skill as their primary trait where they will level this skill up as they continue to work. A higher level in this skill will result in them being able to collect more experience from their targets. They also use the knowledge skill as their secondary trait which at higher levels will allow them to create higher leveled enchanted books. The front page of the Enchanter's interface will show you the name of the Enchanter's tower and its upgrade level, unless you have renamed the building. You can also see the Enchanter assigned to work at the tower here as well. Through the Manage Workers option, 
you can assign and unassign enchanters to the build, you can recall all workers to the tower by pressing the recall worker option. The build options will show you what is required to upgrade the enchanters tower, as well as options to repair or deconstruct it. Pick up priority will determine how much of an effort your couriers will make to come pick up items from the hut. A higher priority level will mean your couriers will make more of an effort to collect more frequently. Or you can force them to pick up items immediately by clicking the request pick up now option. The inventory button will show you what type of items are in the building hut storage with the chest icon beside it allowing you to search for a specific item. The Custom Recipes tab shows a list of recipes that your enchanter knows, including all magic scroll recipes. More recipes will show in this tab once the more scrolls research has been unlocked. The Minimum Stock tab will allow you to specify items that the enchanter should always have. Items for magic scrolls could be useful for them to always have. The Gather Targets tab will allow you to select how many targets your enchanter will gather experience from. You can see a list of builds around your colony as well as their distance away from the enchanter's tower and select one or multiple for your enchanter to target. The more targets set, the faster your enchanter will gather experience towards enchanting an ancient tome. And that is everything that you'll ever need to know about the enchanter. They are a very helpful and special type of worker and totally not soulless and creepy, secretly stealing your workers' souls and trapping them in magical books which you then use to enchant your tools. Totally not doing that. Although expensive to create and maintain, these workers can help you out with a multitude of different enchants and magical scrolls, so will make a good addition to your colony if you do create one. Plus, you'll need a fairly high leveled one if you ever want to go for that very important nether miner anyway. To end, here is a nice showcase of all of the different tier 5 enchanters towers that you can make. Enjoy, and I hope this tutorial has helped.